So getting towards the end of winter, um, did one of my last little projects on the boat before the season starts in about a month. Um, added some LEDs uh, to the T-top, some forward facing, some rear facing. Um, I just went ahead and got some that I found on Amazon. The brand is called Nylite. Um, pretty inexpensive. I don't think it's the fanciest brand out there, but um, for the cost, it's it's you know it's fairly cheap, affordable. Uh, they got a two-year warranty. And then one tip that I figured out was uh, on the actual lights themselves um, is if you just take them apart, you take these end caps off. Um, you can reseal them because that was uh, one of the issues that I heard was that they leak in the sides here. So I just took them apart and threw some additional silicone in there. So I think they're sealed up pretty good. Comes with these mounting brackets, pretty easy to install. I just did a carriage bolt, stainless steel through the top, um, and then attached it that way. So this won't rather tear the T-top cover. That's why I did these as opposed to just a standard bolt. And then uh, these are adjustable. You can see there's a groove so you can rotate it um, and then the rear I have these and I think these are 18 watt sheets it's got the same um, attachment method there um, again I got the carriage bolts at the top so that won't tear through when this thing is flapping in the wind um, and then one thing about the striker t-top that's a little frustrating is you can't really hide the wiring inside the tubing I wanted to do that but the problem is these brackets right here that hold these two pieces together this is a solid piece right here and so you can't run a wire through there so I just have it tucked the wire just tucked through the the rope there and then it runs to the front where it meets up with the front and then it comes down and I found this uh, this cable routing um, tube at the hardware store that's used for offices and I just ran all the wiring right through there and uh, and then this thing actually has an adhesive back to it. Um, I just added a zip tie at the top and one at the bottom right down here and then I just have it running through into the center console. So it's it's fairly clean. Um, pretty straightforward. Nothing too fancy. And uh, there you go. And then I used the this is a second set of rocker switches that I added. This was as you see in my other video this is to power accessories at the back um, the Scotty outlet um, to do my downriggers and my my line puller and then now I've got this to set up for the front and that's the light for the back and so you can see they're lit up now um, and this is a 20 inch bar at I think a hundred and I forget how many watts it is but it's uh it's uh, about 126 watts and then these are I think 18 watts each and you can rotate these and tilt them so they've got two of those one on each side just to give myself a little extra light for those early, early mornings that I head out. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I think that's the last project before the end of the season. And we all know it, you know, in the winter we can't really be fishing. So um, I think that's where uh, the term boat, you know, break, break out another thousand comes from is uh, we're itching to be doing something. And so all we do is spend money and tinker. And uh, this was my, my last project and uh, if you have any questions or comments on the install just let me know and um, I appreciate you watching thanks